Hey guys, my name is Sophia, and today I'm going to be teaching how to do a backflip. So, basically, um, I learned this from my friend Grace. Um, I started, started my ponytail is really bad, and pot is sorry because I can't speak that loud because it's literally 7 in the morning, so, and I was bored, so I was like, let me just make a video. So, this is what, you, this is what your final product should be. Wait, I'm teaching, I'm teaching you how to do a backflip on trampoline. So this is how, how your backflip, your product should be on trampoline when you get it. So, yeah. And, I'm not, I'm not gonna, this, um, these tips don't, like, revolve around the ground, because, like, these tips has to ha be like on a trampoline. It can't be on ground. I don't know if that sounds right, but like, I'm teaching you how to do a bath on trampoline. So let's just go on the end of the video. Um, so basically, my first tip is to, this is how, wait, the first tip I learned how to do it. Let me turn myself off. First tip I had I learned was to like kind of like first like kind of do like kind of like do this. Like, wait, not that like. Okay, so, like so kind of you out your back. But you kind of go in a do like out your back like you're moving your front foot, and then you like turn into a cartwheel. Like. <laughs> I, I didn't do it, but when I was laying on my back, I didn't do that step because I couldn't do it. So, yeah. And then, next up is to make sure you make sure you make sure you have your back handspring on trampoline. You you don't have to have your back handspring. It's like it helps you if you have your back handspring or a back walker. Also helps you have a back handspring. Who doesn't try to lean back handspring? So basically, what I learned to do first to try your back handspring. Oh, you can see that. Really. Like that. And try, try to go higher and higher. If you don't know how that means, I mean, like, try to go like, try to make your hands touch less and less and less, like this. This is my normal back handspring. My one step higher, maybe jump into it a little bit. Like that. Then one step more higher, step a little bit more. Sorry if my camera keeps on falling. Sorry. Sorry if my camera keeps on falling because I'm jumping and yeah. My rubber band fell off. Alright, so just just keep on getting your back hands being more higher and higher until like until you think it's high enough that you can start like until you start doing the the next step we teach you. So this is like as high as I can go basically. This is higher, but like this this is when you should stop getting higher. This is how high you should go. That was a good one, I did. I'll, I'll do it again if you didn't see. So that's how high you should go. Cause like, yeah. Um, if you didn't know the hardest, the hardest thing for people to do your back flip or back handspring is going back. If people are scared to go back, and yeah. So my next step is just 
just try to go for it, but like, don't be scared at all. It's okay if you don't, if you, it's okay if you fall. You know? If you if you look scared in the middle of it, just put your hands down and just fall. It doesn't matter. This, this is how I look, would look when I was my back, my back look. When I was wearing my back look, this is how I would look. That, that was how I would look a thousand times. It doesn't hurt, so just trust me. You'll get it if you just keep on practicing it. And this um, goes for, for a lot of people. A lot of people just try to arch their back. Try to go back. Like, some people do this. Like, they just do this. And they, and they expect their body just to go backwards. You need to, like, kind of, like, go backwards. Not focus of going back, just focus of going down and back at the same time. And um, what helps me a lot, well, some people do this. You can try both ways. Yeah, I can't do this way. I can't do. Where you like, you like do this and you jump once and then you do it. This is how I look when I do that. I don't. I can't do it. Like, like I can't do that. This is like I need more momentum. So that's where I jump. This is this is how I jump five times. If you jump five, if if you jump more than three times, it's too momentum. It's too much momentum. And this is how it looks if you jump too too much jump. Like you like flop all the things and it's too much momentum. You might even bruise your head if you have too much momentum. That's why I only do three. This is how I do my back flip. I don't do it like. I don't do it like. I don't do it like this. I jump three times because I barely have any momentum when I do that strategy. So that's why I jump three times. See? Look at it. So, like, uh, the three jumps help me because I don't have that much momentum, but I still have momentum to do it. So I still have momentum to land it. Okay. One, two, three. See? And this was a big problem for me too. The reason why I wasn't landing it is because I was going when I was uh, when I was in mid air. I was just trying. To, I would do my back flip slow. I'll, I'll show you the, um, the first the difference of slow and fast. Make sure you do your back flip is fast. That's well. This is this is this is a back flip that is slow. That's a back flip that's slow. This is a back flip that's fast. You didn't hear me. This is a back up that's fast. <laughs> See, that was fast. And that's how you should land it. If, if you do it fast, more likely you will land it. And probably my last step too is, not my last step, but like my last tip is to not flop your hands all around. All around. Just, just like let them still like how I do it. Like I, I, I like do, do my hands like this. I, I do my hands like this or like this. It helps you not make your hands go flop around or make it go like, cause like you hurt you hurt your hands if you like make it go like this. And that's how I cut the knot. Like like stick to it. Kind of like, like my hands go all around. So I'm just gonna try my hands being like this. I'm just gonna try my hands like, like all around. One, two. Like, if, you, if you put your hands like that, more likely you will touch the ground, like how I did. But now if you put your hands like this, this is how it looks like. See, I did it too close. I literally did it like this. You didn't see me. You, you need to put more to your chest like that. Like this. You, there's two ways I do it. I do it like this. I do it like this. This would help me, but you can still like, do it like this. This is me doing it like that. Yeah, my 
I know if I do like that. So, probably my last tip is just to go for it. Don't be scared. It's okay if you fall a hundred times. That's how I did. I probably fell like a thousand times. And just try to go with all my tips and tricks and things I taught you. And if you still don't have it, like in a two days, try. I learned it. I learned my backflip in one day. It's okay if you learned your backflip in like. I learned my backflip in like 20 minutes, but it's okay. It's okay if you don't learn your backflip in like a day. If, if you don't learn your backflip in like four hours and try it and try just have a spot spot you i'll show i'll show you how a spot should spot you get you back to us this is how the finished product should look so it is yeah. it is. Stop, we'll all day. bye guys hope this helped you